Louisiana's political past shows us that most runoffs are head-to-head -head fights, that whichever candidate gets at least 50% plus one gets the office. But of course, past isn't always prologue. There's going to be a change somewhere in there. Senate District 16 could become the first block in state legislative history to see a three-way runoff, in which the winner would only need a plurality, not a majority. That's because a computerized rescan of mail-in ballots put representatives Franklin Foyle and Steve Carter dead even for second place. All it takes is one questionable ballot to either not be counted or a blank ballot to be counted or a ballot to be thrown out or whatever, all of a sudden, the equilibrium of a tie vote has been upended. Indeed, there have been some discrepancies. Saturday's initial count showed Foyle eight votes above Carter. Secretary of State Kyle Ardwin will open voting machines Tuesday to verify tallies, and depending on those results, Foyle plans to ask Ardwin to recount the thousand or so mail-in ballots by hand on Thursday. My intention is to make that request at this time, but I'm going on a day-by-day -day basis to see how things progress. Should a recount still show Foyle and Carter tied, the two Republicans would face Democrat Beverly Brooks Thompson, creating a candidate pie political analyst John Kuvion says could help the Democrat in a long Republican district. The 35 percent of the vote that would go to Beverly Brooks Thompson that's enough to win, assuming that Carter, Representatives Carter and Foyle split the remaining 65 percent down the middle. Well, it would certainly make things more challenging if it's a three-way race. But, you know, at this time, I'm, I'm mainly looking at the process ahead of us through the recount to see where we end up. Last time, Carter himself is voicing plans to stay in the race in a statement Monday pledging to keep knocking on constituents' doors. In Baton Rouge, Harrison Golden, your local election headquarters. Now, we reached out to the Louisiana Republican Party to ask if they want voters to support any candidate in particular. So far, we have not heard back at this time, but we'll continue to follow this developing story.